Okay, peoples. Um, I'm going to do a quick video on how to use an iToy camera whoops, as a webcam. Web, uh, webcam. This is the camera. I've modified mine by taking the base off. You can uh, that there, the base at the top. You can kind of see. This bit here used to go on the bottom of the camera, but I wanted to put it up here, so I just took it off. Used some tape and some white tack, and some screws to hold it up onto the top here, and it works just fine up there. I also put some tape over the front. They have two LEDs on it, and they are very annoying, especially the red one. The red one's actually quite bright. I have to focus on it, and I need to tighten up this screw a little bit more because it's actually offset. It's at an angle. But I've now um, uninstalled it, so I can show you how to install it. Now I actually got the um, the classic style. Control panel back. That yeah, was pissing me off. Okay. Someone's talking. Ah, oh, spider phone. Fuck you. You're not interesting. Mm. Come on. Right, so when you're on here. No, don't. I don't want to fucking install it. Fuck off. Okay, so when you're on here. Go to Google. Search iPhone driver. Click the second one. This one. This is the one I use, but apparently they're now charging to download it. But this one here, they don't charge. Click it. You just basically follow a website, you know, to download shit off of it. So, download it. If you've got Google Chrome, it makes it even easier. Then all you have to do is go to My Documents, and it'll be in Downloads. When you download Google Chrome, it'll add a file to your documents called My Downloads. So, once you have downloaded it, shut all this down, uh, plug your iToy camera in, find it on the floor now, this here actually comes in the pack when you download it, called VidCat, um, actually you might not because I got it from a different place, but anyway, go to, uh, yes this time only, Next, install from list of specific location, uh, or specific location, so that's advanced. Then you want to go into here, to browse, um, downloads, but actually when you go, you need to go to your downloads, hang on, I'll show you. Uh, hang on. No, that's fine. Where is it? I'm not sure. It's not there. Oh, I must have moved it. Um, just I've got pictures of someone here that which I would rather not show off on there. But what you do is you move it. Once it's in your downloads, you click it, you open it up, and when you open it, there will actually be Logitech iToy drivers, which is this folder. And you have all this crap in it. Um, if you can, try and do this one if you can. That's the one I use, but it's, it's fine for me. I don't know why it's being such an asset now. Free download. Install download manager, plug in for free. What's that now? Guessing that. Yeah. That's not working. Oh well. This is the one I used, and it worked absolutely bloody perfect. Uh, you want to find it in downloads. You want to click. You want to do Logitech iToy drivers. That is the file you want to use. You don't need to open it. Well, you can't open it, but you select that. Next, and it starts starts running it all through for you. There will be some things which come up which actually seem dodgy, but you don't need to worry about them. Like this. That looks dodgy, but it's not. You always click continue anyway. Then it does it with this as well. This is a wireless adapter. When you, because it's, it's netgear, so it's trustable. But um, when you install it, it does the same thing. It has that same box come up. Um, you don't need to worry about it being that like, corrupt or anything. Um, oh, I need to do that quick. Just while it's doing that. Shit. Um, I can disconnect this. This batch has been on charge all night. It's very fucking hot. Uh, could not, but what the fuck? Retry. 
Why are you being such a twat? Rich cat. Why is it trying to install rich cat? Fuck off. It's being an arse head now. No, it's still going. It's better not fuck up because I use this webcam a lot. Oh, there we go, it's done. When this little thing comes up, that means it's done. Click yes, otherwise if you click no, it'll slow your picture down. And it'll be very jerky and the crap quality all together. Finish. To test if it's working, this is better work. Go to VidCap, which will be in that file. I go to my documents. Uh, downloads, no, it won't be in downloads, there we go. This, you pick on, where's VidCap gone? Oh, I moved it. Normally, it's in here. The VidCap will be in this box, but I moved on to my desktop. Like that. And look, voila, it's working absolutely fine. Say hello, fine. My crappy LG Shine, which has actually got a better picture than an LG cookie. But, that's just about it. And it's very, very simple. And it's very, it's actually a very good camera. Um, I don't know if it's my room, 